New social media trend is exposing younger generations to a drug commonly used by dentists, and it turns out that nitrous oxide is easily available to just about anybody. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard is in Minneapolis, where a young man went looking for and found nitrous. And Corin, this may be something where the legislature does try to intervene at some point. Yeah, that's right, Kelsey. This guy actually went out looking for these cartridges of nitrous oxide, which are also called whippets. They are legal, but there can be very serious health consequences, which is why some legislators do want to take action. God damn. <laughs> the giggles you see on social media make nitrous oxide look like a lot of fun, but staggering and falling often follow. The gas is a mild sedative, but it has a legal and legitimate use dispensing whipped cream. The chargers now come in a variety of flavors, and inhaling those is a subject of a lot of online chatter. I saw it on TikTok. It was, it was a popular video, and then I just wanted to... See if, if, if Minneapolis had some. It didn't take long for 22-year-old Isaiah to find canisters of nitrous oxide prominently displayed at a tobacco shop. You can also order them online at sites like Amazon and Walmart. This is easily accessible by a large segment of our, of our growing population, and it's being pushed to them via social media, via um, their peer circles. And Representative Elliot Engen says it should be a no-brainer for the Minnesota legislature to ban the flavored cartridges and go after online sales. He's not sure if a full ban would get through. Louisiana passed a full ban on retail sales of nitrous oxide this year, partly based on concerns from Dr. Eric Griggs. He says extended use can cause vitamin B12 deficiencies, which can have serious consequences on your nervous system, even potentially causing paralysis. The so-called laughing gas is no joke. It's a medical grade drug. The stigma that really needs to be removed is from the, 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 the perception that this is a safe high. It's not a safe high. And Minnesota did pass Tommy's law this year, which restricts sales of keyboard dusters. Those are kind of similar to nitrous oxide in as much as there is a legal, legitimate use and then also an abusive one. Live in Minneapolis, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9. All right, Corn, thank you.